Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about Twilio programmable video. To begin with, it is Charu from Game Solution Department at Class Method. I'm an AWS engineer and my hobbies include dancing, trying different cuisines and traveling. Starting with what is Twilio? So Twilio is a cloud communication platform as a service. It allows developers to build, scale, and operate customer engagement within software applications. It is fully secured and reasonably priced. The best part is it allows you to build fully secure and affordable cloud-based applications without any coding knowledge. Yes. And it also supports all channels on one platform. In this video, we will be talking about, we will be going through the Twilio programmable video demo and how to store those recordings of your videos in AWS S3. Starting with, why should you choose Twilio? So Twilio can grow much faster than many other cloud communication companies because of large number of developers working on its platform. Hence, it is made by developers and it is for developers. It also has very easy integration and global user interface, which is very easy to manage. It includes extensive documentation, which has the answers of all your queries regarding Twilio. But how is Twilio video different from other platforms offering video feature? So Twilio programmable video is designed to give developers robust video building blocks that can easily be integrated into the applications. Twilio provides complete control over the entire video experience from the user interface to the network infra infrastructure. It also offers a wide variety uh, of range of APIs that allows developers to customize and extend video functionality far beyond what's possible with other video platforms. So here comes three types of video rooms provided by Twilio. WebRTC Go Room, Peer-to-Peer -peer Room or P2P Room, and Group Rooms. Let's discuss about each one of them. Firstly, what is WebRTC Go Room? So, a WebRTC Go Room, also known as, a, also known as just Go Room, can be used for one-on-one -on -one video calls. Go Rooms use a peer-to-peer -to -peer topology and are similar to P2P Rooms, which we'll be discussing just after this slide. However, the maximum, the maximum number of participants in a GoRoom is two at a time. But they can be maximum of 500 concurrent participants at a time per account. For example, there can be 250 rooms with two participants each. Peer-to-peer -peer room, also known as P2P room. In a P2P room, clients need to send their media streams once per subscriber. For best video quality, we recommend that P2P rooms have no more than three participants in a video call. You can have four participants too, but the video quality will get reduced. For audio calls only, P2P rooms can have up to 10 participants. It also provides end-to-end -end en encryption. Next, we'll move on to group rooms. Video group rooms Participants publish media to a Twilio Selective Forwarding Unit, SFU. An SFU is a media server that decrypts the media, processes, re-encrypts, and routes the media tracks to the correct destination. Media is not end-to-end -end encrypted as the SFU keeps media unencrypted in memory to process it. Services such as recordings and public switched telephone network PSTN can also be added. So you must be wondering which room to choose. Talking about that, if uh, in case of web RTC Go rooms, these are designed for developers looking to launch their application as quickly as possible with minimal cost. These rooms are functionally similar to P2P rooms, but there's a maximum number of two participants in a single room at one time and a scale limit of 500 participants in Go Rooms at any instant in time. 
so uh, the another scenario will be if your use case is 2 to 3 participants you do not need recordings or pst in support but you need end to end encryption of media for compliance reasons then p2p rooms will work for you but in general group rooms provide the most functionality and flexibility they support multi party calls of more than two participants recordings pst and dial in dial out and additional quality controls so i hope according to your scenario according to your criteria you know which room to choose so from now onwards let's get started with implementation of tulia programmable video so about the steps in detail here is um, the blog provided by twilio and it's a very descriptive blog uh, reading to it you can deploy your own video collaborative collaboration app in just 5 minutes or less so moving on to next step i'll tell you how to uh, save the recordings in your s3 bucket so here under the twilio console you, you have to come to the recording settings which is under develop and video which is under video under develop yeah so under recording settings you have this option of uh, saving the recordings to external s3 bucket for that you have to press this enable button and add your aws credential you can give any friendly name i gave twilio s3 recordings and pro provide your aws access key and secret access key and the external url of your s3 bucket so once it's done all your recordings will be saved in your s3 bucket as shown here i'll go to my uh, s3 bucket and today the date is 26 yeah so you can find the step by step instructions of making the twilio programmable uh, video through this blog i have already uh, created all those uh, steps so i'll be showing you the further steps after you, you just have to clone the git repository and follow the further steps to get going so to deploy the application you have to run npm run deploy twilio cli this will take a minute or so to give you the link to access the link will be in this format it will give you the web app url and a passcode so just have to access this link and enter the passcode in the starting you don't have to enter the passcode really you just have to enter your name and the room number you want to enter you can, it can be any random room number but to uh, allow your part, other participants to enter the same room as yours you have to give the same room number to your particip other participants as well i'll be showing you uh, this demo by accessing the same link in the same browser and one in incognito mode maybe and yeah let's wait for some time to get it done so yeah it also gives you an expiry date of the room created so you can change the expiry date from the twilio console itself but uh, the maximum number of days will be 7 so the room created just now will be valid till uh, uh, one week and after that you have to create another room so yeah we have we got our link here we can access this open you can enter your name and room number it can be a random one yeah so it asked for this i'll join it also provides the noise cancellation portion and as you can see here after joining the recording automatically started so this is the feature provided by the group rooms and at the same time i'll put it on mute at the same time i'll put this link in incognito mode and if you remember i gave the room number as 101 I'll be giving the same room number here. See, first time it didn't ask me for pass 
passcode but second time it will so to your other participants you have to share the passcode as well oops passcode is in well how is it let's try this one yeah so next name maybe maybe i can give just charu one on one it can be any random name and yeah i have to give the same room number to join the same room allow mute join as you can see here i am like two participants already joined but i'll disconnect here and i'll just enter another room maybe charu 201 and give a different room to a one you can see that i joined a i'll be joining a different room one uh, the previous room number is 101 but the second one is 201 so that error might be so yeah as you can see here uh, the recording of this room also automatically started so going on further i'll disconnect this and this yeah so it's moving further sometimes i have faced this error that suppose if sorry suppose if i access i i access this application after 1st august but it will still give me uh, the expired room link and passcode so that will obviously not work because it's already expired so it does that it it might be a bug from tulio i'm not sure of that so this override flag also does not work for that you can type the command tulio rtc video delete yeah so whatever the existing room will be it will delete that room suppose if it's expired then you can just enter this command it will delete that room and then you can execute it again you will notice that the new room will have a different link and a different passcode yeah so moving on to next step i'll tell you how to uh save the recordings in your s3 bucket so here under your twilio console you you have to come to the recording settings which is under develop and video which is under video and develop yeah so under recording settings you have this option of uh, saving the recordings to external s3 bucket for that you have to press this enable button and add your aws credential you can give any friendly name i gave to you s3 recordings and pro provide your aws access key and secret access key and the external url of your s3 bucket so once it's done all your recordings will be saved in your s3 bucket as shown here i'll go to my uh, s3 bucket and today the date is 26 saves the recording in mkv and mka file that means the audio and video files are separate so clicking on it you can uh, the main uh, requirement is that your s3 bucket should be public and yeah you can download this uh, open yeah this is a video recording created yeah this was all about it i'll be sharing the list of these two three commands in the uh, description too yeah and yeah so we are done with the implementation of tulio programmable video and we got to know how to store the recordings in s3 yeah so this was all about tulio programmer video in case you have any doubts just make sure to comment it yeah mm -hmm. thank you